Welcome to the second in a series of GibbsCam V14 videos that will highlight some new enhancements for version 14 coming out in the next month or so. I'm going to show you five different items. Hopefully we get through them all here. If not, we'll do them in another video. But the first thing I'm going to go to is File and down to Preferences and show you some new things in there. If we go to uh, Interface, you can see there's some new checkboxes here. The first one is reverse mouse wheel zoom. Now normally the zoom to mouse cursor uh, is right there. Uh, kind of roll your wheel back to zoom. Of course if you did reverse that would do just the opposite. Okay. Automatic check for updates. That's been there before. Um, an open process dialog on upload. I use this quite a bit actually. If you have this checked on, and I have this in another video as well, when you double click on an operation, it will automatically open up that process for you on the left side there, as you can see. So sometimes this is handy so you don't have to double click here and then go over here and double click to open this up. So that's what's really nice about Activate um, Open Process Dialog and Upload. Now the new one is Activate Machining CS on Upload. Now a lot of times uh, when you're moving around your part, you can see on here I have quite a few uh, CS's on here for different places on the uh, palette system you can see here. But when you're trying to edit say a toolpath or something or draw something new, you're constantly having, having to go back to the coordinate system and change that. Well if you want to uh, fix that, make it a little bit easier. Notice if I double click operation number one, it brings me to my standard. We're going to turn this off for a second. You can see double clicking here it brings up my standard G54, the face of the part. Well, let's say I want to edit another side over here. So by double clicking on that, well, that's the same coordinate system, sorry. If I go to a, a third operation, you can see it's on the back side, and notice it already highlighted the CS for that particular side there. This is really nice to have. We'll do another one. There's another G54, another back one there, a few others there. Have some at different angles, but you can see that it is rotating the coordinate system according to the operation I have open. So this is really nice. So you don't have to uh, constantly keep going back to the coordinate systems. Um, so the next one is uh, under preferences, machining preferences. Now Gibbs is enabling the background material calculation in the background. You don't have to have this checked on, but it's we're finding it is not taking up any more video memory or uh, internal memory. It's running just as fast, but in the background it's calculating what materials left uh, from other parts that you've machined, uh, other operations you've machined. So this is really nice as well. We'll have more videos on that when we get into it a little bit more, but I would leave this checked and that'll help a lot. And it's works on both lathe and mill and it works on a combination between turning and milling as well. So I would keep that on. Uh, the import export, um, we've really we've done away with the PTC um, uh, menu here, and, and mainly most people are using the spatial anyway right now. But we do have a couple new menus here: import construction geometry as well, and choose solidworks configuration upon import. So those are two nice things to have on there as well. So I'm going to select those two right now. And then we're going to actually open up a SOLIDWORKS uh, spatial to bring in the construction geometry. So if we go to File and Open. So if we go to our uh, menus here, and uh, normally this drop-down menu, you'll see the Gibbs Cam and all these others here. Well, if you go to the SOLIDWORKS spatial, and I have a part here we could open up. G54 
change the properties of that. It's a little bit chunky there. But as you can see, it brought in the geometry from the SOLIDWORKS. Now on this one, this particular geometry, this is just the holes here on our sample part here. But uh, you can have it bring in the geometry as well uh, on SOLIDWORKS parts. So that's something new as well. There's some other things as well uh, on importing solids uh, from SOLIDWORKS and that, which we'll go over on some later videos. Let me open up my other part here. So the next one is things you use quite a bit. Uh, for instance, uh, I use coordinate systems a lot, work groups a lot, and maybe body bag uh, a lot. So what we can do is we can create those in uh, menu to make them easier to access. So what you do is you open up, let's open up the coordinate systems for one, and you'll see this new little icon up here. Now what this does, once you click on it, is it converts it into a kind of a menu that you can drag around. Let's just put it over here for now. Okay, let's open up um, my work groups. Do the same thing. I'm gonna add it, go right to the middle right here. And that's gonna add it to there. And then the body bag as well. Click on that one. And I'm gonna drag that over to here as well. Okay. So now if you look at the bottom, you'll see you have CS, opens that up. Uh, let me close that one first. So you have CS, work groups, and what happened to my body bag? Let's try that one again. Okay, should have body bag, work groups, and CS. Okay, there we go. So now you have a menu here, and you can actually tear away this menu and put it wherever you'd like. You unzoom everything so it looks decent here. Okay. So now I have tabs here for coordinate systems, work groups, and body bag. And like I say, you can dock this basically wherever you want. If you have a second screen, which I like to have quite a bit, you can just drag it off to your second screen and activate it right there. So it makes it really nice. You don't have to have it right here. Uh, on the screen. Sometimes it gets in the way. Uh, of course you can minimize this somewhat as well to make it a little bit more compact. Like I say you can put it wherever you'd like and you can dock it if you want. Okay. And if you want to go back or tear these back off you can just grab them, tear them back off and there you're back to what they were before. Okay. And if you uncheck them and then if you open them back up here you can click here to make them back to what they were originally click that again and body bag again so now they're three separate just like they were before so it's really easy to make your menus and uh, dock them over here tear them back off uh, you can put them, you know, just about anywhere you'd like. If you want to dock them up here, you can. So this is a really nice feature. So all these, men not every single menu, but quite a few of them. Let me bring this back here. Quite a few of them that have this extra icon over here. This one looks like work groups have it. Body bag has it. Geometry doesn't. Some of these other ones don't, and some of them do. So it's not all of them, but ones that are used really, uh, that are really common, used a lot, you have it there. So that's a really nice feature as well. I really like that because it makes things so much faster than having to go up to the coordinate system or work group and body bag. You use these so much that makes it much nicer. Okay. Another thing with the body bag here, let me just put some of these things in the body bag. As you can see, now the default background color is going to be, going to be uh, kind of a pale white. Uh, if you don't like that, you can, by right clicking on the tab, you can change the background color to whatever you would like. 
the default was black before now it's the defaults kind of a uh, off-white beige and also uh, you can move the tabs at the top or bottom normally default before was at the bottom of the tab bottom of the window the tabs uh, which I didn't like that much but that's where they were so now you can right click and say move those tabs at the top so as you create uh, more tabs you can see you can see all your tabs are now lined up at the top so that's really nice also another thing uh, which I didn't show you quite here yet but as you change the colors on your part when you put them in the body bag they will also be that color where whereas before they were always gray so if you change the user color on a particular part when you put it in the body bag it'll also retain that same color so that's some new things there as well So there you go. And the last item we're going to show you is Align CS. So before on our coordinate systems there, if you wanted to align a part with the coordinate system, let me bring up a different part. It'll make it a little bit easier to understand. So here's my other part here. So before when you want to align a surface to the coordinate system normally let's say I want to align this coordinate this uh, face to the coordinate system normally you right click and click on line face to CS and you can see it aligns it up now if you wanted to flip that over maybe you align the wrong edge or whatever you'd normally have to create a coordinate system and rotate it around well now just click on it again align face to CS again and it flips it the opposite direction 180 degrees off so this is really nice so some new features coming up here hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching